Hey everyone, Potato Noir here, and today I wanted to show to you a, a relatively unknown way to uh, instantly transport yourself across uh, your server or your world. And I really haven't seen a whole lot of talk about this, and it's pretty exciting. Uh, it only takes a few things, redstone isn't too bad. And uh, I should mention that it doesn't matter where you are in the world, it doesn't matter if you have a redstone line to your end importer or not. Wherever you are, you can instantly teleport to uh, your home base, and you can configure the settings for that. I'll show you exactly how in just a little bit. So check this out. The uh, mechanic uses inner porters, but it's actually powered by a cat that is sitting on top of a trap chest. And there's a really weird mechanic with this. So what happens is whenever you have a tamed cat that is attached to a post, so he won't run away. And basically, whenever that cat sits down, you get a redstone output from an item in this trap chest. So you have soul sand. So it should be outputting the comparative right now. But when he sits, for some reason, there's a weird bug that he completely breaks the chest there. So what exactly happens is, say you're very far away from your base where this is and you want to be able to teleport back instantly. I came across this idea after wanting to make my own contraption that would just essentially have wireless redstone. And I found this in a really obscure section of the comments on another video that was trying to use wolves. But I think someone on one of Ilmango's servers had also used this idea, but he had tried to make it tileable, so it was just absolutely massive and uh, does basically the same thing as this version, which is really thin. But what happens is, um, tamed cats will sit down whenever you leave the server or whenever you go in the nether, right? So basically what this does is it gets a redstone output whenever your cat is sitting, whenever you leave the server. See? Oh, and then the machine worked like it should. So what happens is, as it just did, which is working fine, whenever this machine is set up so that whenever this cat sits down and back up in a certain amount of time and you can configure that time i have it set to about seven seconds whenever you sit this cat and unsit it within that seven second window you'll get an output from here so you use this so that whenever you log out of your server you can completely log out your cat will sit down if these chunks are loaded when you log back in within seven seconds, you'll get a redstone output and you'll get teleported whenever you log back in from wherever you are. It does not matter. So here, I'll give you a little demonstration of just how this works. Since this is a single player world um, and I'm going to be loading the chunks whenever I come back in, it'll work from right here. But if you wanted to do this in a single player world from far away or a, in a multiplayer world, you have to have a chunk loader here so that your cat will be loaded in while you're not actually loading the chunks yourself. So that's a very important mechanic. But since I'm right here, I can show you how it works. So I will log out very quickly and log back in. And you can see I was teleported. So that's exactly how it will work if you have the chunk loader. Once again, you, you must have the chunk loader in order for this to work. And uh, you may have seen that second tick of the, uh, of the trap door here, um, basically, that's not really an issue for um, any of the workings of this mechanism. What happens is at the very end of that seven second window, then you'll get another little flick again. So usually you teleport back in with like maybe a second or two left on that. So it'll just flip up maybe one more time while you're in there, it doesn't really matter. So uh, if you have a server and you wanna build this for you and your friends, I've made, intentionally designed this to be as thin as I can reasonably get it without uh, making it overly complicated. So this what you'll have room to put them exactly this close together without any major redesigns or anything. And that's pretty darn good for, you know, as compact as this redstone is, I think that's pretty good. So you could have a setup where you do a little build with your inner porter here, have all the redstone mechanisms actually behind it. And it's not really too bad. The only downside to this is there's just one thing you have to keep in mind is that every now and then your chunk loader may have failed 
um, which happens to me every so often, but there's different designs of chunk loaders that work better than others, so I would recommend getting one that is good. Um, there's a good one by Exuma uh, that I use, and it's pretty easy to correct itself. I'll put a link in the description for that, but there might even be better ones out there than the one that I'm using. But every now and then, what happens is if you enter your world and the chunk, if you're within rendering distance of these guys and the chunk isn't loaded, as in your chunk loader broke and then you spawn into the world um, like after your timer has already gone, basically what that does is it will teleport your cat to you and break this lead here. So you're going to need probably a fairly easy way of getting your cat back into this little hole here, which really isn't hard. And I'll show you in um, my multiplayer server that I have um, what I do to fix this, because it's a really easy fix whenever it happens, because you'll always be close by and the cat follows you. So it's actually pretty easy to fix. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay, everyone, I'm on my survival server that I share with Octagonal Square. Check him out too, if you're ever in the neighborhood with us. Basically, this is our setup for where we have our cat interporters. And as you can see, mine just broke. So this happens every now and then because my chunk loader has probably run out of items. Every now and then it'll just happen. Okay, well, I can show you how I fix it, which would be actually very convenient that he's out. So that it'll show you exactly how it works. But anyway, these are the teleportation chambers. They look like little TARDISes or something. They're pretty cool. This one's mine. I'll just go ahead and toss one in there for later. So since he's following me, I'll just take you around back to all the redstone for it. So what I do, this is really ghetto and I'm going to get a little better system, but I'm just going to lead the cat through. He's going to follow me. And then I have just a little tunnel back here, but you could do whatever you want. And then, whoop, easy. You can block it up if you want it to be a little bit easier. If they come through, you can just make them sit and then push them in. So. What you do, since he's already in there, I just need to lead on him. You may have to dig one down, but they don't really try to escape very bad anytime I do this. So you just do that, and then block them up again, keep them safe. So what the just having a little area right behind the teleporter is very convenient, at least for me. Um, and I've found that's by far the easiest way to do it. It only takes like like 20 seconds to fix maybe whenever it does and you can uh get a better chunk loader if you don't want that to happen more i need to upgrade mine a little bit um because it breaks every so often uh yeah it needs more items eventually i don't know why it broke whenever there were any items if your server restarts then this will also happen so keep that in mind if your server restarts frequently this may not be built for you so let me show you how this works with the cat back in there I will travel far away really quick. And there we go. We are well out of render distance, so now I will log out and log back in within seven seconds. And instant teleportation. This is pretty darn useful. But anyway. That's it for Survival World. That's how to fix the uh, cat glitch whenever the cat will actually teleport to you. So this redstone really isn't complicated enough to have to do a whole tutorial on. Uh, the important things that you need to know is that this hopper needs to be filled with items that aren't the same as this item right here. And there needs to be exactly one item in here um, so that you would get that compared output and it needs to be a trap chest. And obviously you need your cat and your lead comparator and this is the only bit that you might have to program um, yourself what this is is a very compact pulse extender that is configurable and so you can actually use this bit of the redstone to configure about how long you want the window for teleportation to be so say i logged out i set this to where Whenever these get through the system, it's about seven seconds. So I can show you that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I was a tiny bit late. So 
basically what that does is it goes to an AND gate right here. And if you would have logged in, you would have gotten another signal that would have flipped uh, the lever. But basically, whenever that is done is whenever your window is available to log back in. See, there's a second signal that would go through, but this one isn't uh, activated again. So this is a simple little AND gate here. Um, so yeah, you can just take a look at this. Um, important things to note, this repeater needs to be set on full delay. These repeaters need to be full delay. And that's really about it. The amount of items you have in here, as I said, will determine how long it is. So if you want seven seconds, which I think is perfect, you can go ahead and put those in there. And one last thing, um, your cat will sit down whenever you travel to the nether. But the thing is, unless he stands back up within that seven second window, you won't be teleported here and this thing won't mess up. If you came back within seven seconds to the overworld, you would this would flip and you'd get teleported here regardless of where you were in the overworld. But I tested this and in survival, it would be really, really difficult. Like I couldn't even get back in time to trigger this because the mechanic of going through the portals takes that long. So yeah, that's it. If you guys like this, then leave a like on the video. It really helps out the channel. And uh, let me know if you have any other ideas or uh, inspiration if you want to build this on your server. I would love to see. But this is a really awesome and really compact way of teleporting long distances. And my friend and I use this all the time on our server. It's very vanilla friendly and super powerful. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and catch me in the next video.